All right, the topic is hazing and bullying. And I'm, I'm just going to jump right into a new idea I had. Um, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that the reason why this happens, uh, especially in the United States, uh, is because of our what I believe is a real pervasive cowboy culture, um, the frontier society uh, culture um, that... I've, uh, I, I know that you know, in, we have uh, a huge amount of books and movies of the Old West. Um, you'd watch a million of them growing up. Um, really uh, bumping into, like, you know, you go by the, the whole free book uh, places where, you, you know, people drop books places and you just pick them up. Uh, there's bound to be a bunch of Westerns in there. Um, I remember uh, Star Trek being pitched as a wagon train to the, to the stars. Like, even a sci-fi was, like... Um, you know, placed in uh, the the cowboy genre because it'll be popular because we're gonna make it kind of like cowboyish. Uh, and then Firefly was uh, hugely pop popular, and you know that was definitely uh, cowboys in space. Um, so we have all these uh, all these uh, myths and legends and uh, historical facts as well that you could um, that you get kind of like steeped in, and then uh, there's no way. I think, uh, for many of us, there's no way to really avoid it and have that affect us. Um, I often wonder, like, you'd see someone acting like a villain, and I'm like, well, haven't you seen enough cowboy movies? <laughs> like, don't you know what happens to the villain? And that's the thing, like, in a lot of uh, uh, movies and books and stuff like that, the villain does, you know, attain some sort of, like, um, uh, pinnacle of power, let's say. Like, you get up to a certain point where... Uh, that you can succeed by behaving badly, uh, intimidation and um, and scheming and stealing. Um, that's it, it, but as far as a foundation goes, that's always going to be a wobbly, uh, insubstantial uh, foundation, and um, those people are always going to be full of fear and struggling to uh, maintain their grip. Um, so I mean I think that's I think that's where it comes from uh, even right down to the like kind of like vindictive uh, torturous behavior um, I mean there's a lot of legends uh, of both uh, uh, Native American and whites uh, behaving in a way that uh, that filled other people with terror and that terror uh, you know uh, moved out like ripples in water and so really all you need to do is do something uh, shockingly horrible once and. Uh, that that will have like a, a protective effect on you, um, like don't mess with that guy. I saw him go crazy once on somebody. Um, so like even something nonsensical, and that, that actually also would probably be like the uh, the, the coward, um, the, the cowboy coward. You know, like uh, in so many gunfights, just because everywhere he goes, he's just scared. Um, like and so wants to get the draw. You know, the whole quick draw thing would be like uh, I just. You know, that person pulled his gun long before anyone thought things were going that direction. Um, but, there, I mean, there's a lot of other things, too, about how I think the cowboy culture and uh, frontier culture has affected us. But I think that might explain why here in the United States the hazing and bullying um, goes even farther. I could think of uh, especially trail drive stories. Um, I was working in a uh, in a factory once, and... I overheard somebody said uh, about a new employee, and um, and like the guy that was talking really hadn't even been there a year yet. And he was like, "Well, I knew to keep my mouth shut for six months." And I remember that reminded me of like trail stories of uh, when new people would get on the trail, uh, the cattle drive, uh, and if they talked a lot, uh, they would have to uh, ride sweep. They'd ride behind the herd and make sure there weren't any stragglers or uh, cows darting off in side canyons. And what that would mean, though, was like not only are they farther away from everybody else, uh, but they'd be choked with dust all day long. They'd have to wear a bandana across their mouth. Uh, you know, as a way to keep them quiet. You know, because, I mean, that's another thing you think of a, a classic cowboy, you know, so, uh, a man of a man of few words. They're not, uh, they're not gabbing, not like me. <laughs> so, yeah, I, trust me, though, actually, I, I spend most of the day being quiet. <laughs> So I wanted to put that out there for consideration, and if uh, if you think it's worth uh, further discussion, I, th I think that uh, I, I could see a lot of different things in our culture that uh, seems to me to be spawned directly from um, the cowboy culture, the frontier culture, the 
the fur trapper, the miner, the explorer. So uh, I'm going to throw that out there, see, uh, see what happens. All right, guys, I'll see you in the tubes.